Hi, I'm Jennifer Kale, and on behalf of Expert Village, I'm going to show you how to make a variety of different rolled sugar cookies. Now that our dough has been completely rolled out, I've peeled off the top layer of wax paper and it's time to start cutting out our cookies. Now I'm going to show you three different types of cookie cutters that you can use. And we're going to start with our open, um, just plain metal cookie cutters. You might find these metal, sometimes you can find really pretty copper ones. But these are going to be the easiest ones to use. And I've got a variety of three. We have a nice little um, woman cookie cutter and a bear and then a dachshund. As I mentioned before, if you're making these as gifts, you might want to incorporate people's personal likes in making cookies for them. So for this, all you're going to do, probably don't have to worry about flouring the edges, but you might want to just to be on the safe side, depending on how warm your kitchen is. If your kitchen is warmer, your dough is going to be stickier. If it's really warm, then you might want to refrigerate your dough a little bit, either before you roll it out, or if you roll it out onto a pastry board, you can then stick it in the refrigerator to firm up a little bit first. So we're going to take our cookie cutter and we're going to start at the edge of the dough. You want to get as many cookies as possible out of each rolling. So you want to start on the edge and get a nice good cut there. We're going to do a couple and you want to get them close together so that you're not having lots of wasted dough around the edges. So the easiest way to take them off is to pull the dough away from the cutting and just put it back in your bowl to be rolled out again. And then you can use a spatula and just gently lift your little cookie dough woman off of the wax paper. You want to make sure to have floured the wax paper so that things lift off a little bit more easily. Unlike this one, the dough is getting a little bit soft. And from here you want to be able to transfer them onto a cookie sheet. And you want to use an ungreased cookie sheet. You're just going to put it on there. And then when you fill up the entire cookie sheet, you'll be ready to stick them in the oven.